a lot of beer and I stumble to my PC Editing the show ain't gonna be easy Cause I got clips from New York and LA I'm getting kinda nervous about starting A red carpet spiel with Dolly Parton Cause she's done open the best show on Broadway It's called 9 to 5 Like the smash hit song and movie And it's so alive You leave the theater feeling groovy Alice and Janney Megan Hilty and Stephanie Blah Are so fantastic The New York Times can suck my cousin. 925 has a book by Patricia Resnick And it's got lots of heart But it's also got a lot of slapstick And it's no surprise What the audiences have to say While one even said Dolly Parton brought Melody back to Broadway And Dolly Parton has brought Melody back to Broadway Isn't that great? I am so embarrassed <laughs> But it's true 925 Yeah! <laughs> hello, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to the show, yes, that's right, 9 to 5 is the best time on Broadway, audiences and critics agree, well, except for that one guy at the New York Times, <laughs> he's a pig f***er. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. I'm, I'm just kidding, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So I don't get sued, let me just go on the record and say, I have absolutely no proof that a pig would ever put itself in that position. <laughs> <laughs> ah, now have we got a show for you tonight. That's right, it's 28 minutes of 9 to 5. Yeah! Now as you all know, 9 to 5 is the new hit Broadway musical based on the classic film of the same name and written by the same writer of that classic film, Patricia Resnick. Yes, yes, yes. And also, the terrific new score is written by Dorley Rhodes herself, Miss Dolly Parton. Yes, 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 yes. I love Dolly. And uh, for those of you who have watched the show over the years, uh, you might have noticed that once or twice I might have mentioned that uh, she's sort of my dream interview. <laughs> Real country bumpkin, and then, you know, here I am, <laughs> starring on Broadway. Starring on Broadway. <laughs> yeah, she... so it's quite a different, different world, yeah. You and Reba. Trying, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And Dolly Parton, oh, yes, you except, like yes. You like Dolly? I do. Yeah, every, every time I interview somebody, we talk about Dolly somehow. She comes up in every conversation. Yeah, yeah okay. so, so give a shout out to Dolly. Hey, Dolly. We love Dolly. Well, because that's the thing, she's a show woman. She's a show woman. her from people. They think they're entertaining. And it's just, you know, keep going, keep going, and she does that. You were actually prepared for this in sort of a weird way that she may not even realize, okay? Because one of my f favorite movies is a movie that you had a role in when you played Tina. That's right, in Straight Talk. Oh, yeah. He said I was messing up too many orders. And when I came home and told Ken, that's my husband, Ken, he just looked at me like I was something horrible. And then Dolly Parton, as a part of Dr. Shirley, says... Sometimes you just gotta honk your own horn, because if you don't, nobody's gonna know you're coming. And look, <laughs> she is honking her own horn on Broadway eight times a week. Grind your behind till you're banned. He's quoting Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton. It all comes back to Dolly, what doesn't it? Up. <laughs> what a great transition. Aren't you glad we're here to talk about Gypsy? Why, it's on channel 34, I guess. As I was saying, Dolly Parton wrote this amazing new score for 9 to 5, and she was even Tony nominated for it. Oh. Yes! And who knows? Maybe she'll win. I'm sure Dolly could always use a new door stopper. Oh. Yes. Oh, Ken. <laughs> oh. It's my ego. Ergo. <laughs> Come on, sit down. Oh, okay. Sit down. Hi. Right. Hi. Hi. Oh, uh, well, I just wanted to chime in that I really did like that bit about 9 to 5 being the best time on Broadway. Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> but don't you think it would be a little more accurate to say the best hours on Broadway? Oh. Or would that be too laborious? <laughs> oh. you, know, you keep coming up with them like that and pretty soon you'll be writing for the Times. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Oh, oh me. <laughs> oh, come on, let's not sit here. Let's go back in time to the 9 to 5 opening in LA. To the magic dollar. Woo! Woo! Woo oh. Hey, no, no, no. This way, what? remember? Oh. I thought that yeah. we, oh, right, I forgot yeah. we moved things around. Oh, come on, Cameron. You know, you try getting up at the butt crack of noon every day. First thing you gotta do is make lunch. Uh, sit out in the audience with Jane and me and Daphne Coleman, the originals from the show, and it's gonna be fun for you to see us, seeing them, being us. Right? But I think we have a wonderful, wonderful cast, and hopefully everybody's gonna like the music. And of course, you know, we got a great director in Joe Tello. And uh, uh, of course, Pat Resnick and I have been working together since 95. She wrote the original script. And we've had a wonderful time together doing this. So it's going to be a big fun night. I don't know what all I'm supposed to say. Am I supposed to cover business or anything? Because I don't know any <laughs> except that I've done my job. I do so everybody's going to like it. And thank you for your support and everything. Up for nine to five tonight, I see. I did. I decided because I was like, everyone's gonna be wearing suits and stuff, and I was like, I'm gonna put on some Levi's and some country boots and call it a day. I saw it years ago, and um, I loved it, and I think this is going to be uh, um, as good, if not better, than the movie. I mean, 30 years. Wait, no, 20, 28. 30, 28. Years. Yeah. Did you ever think this would come back around? This Never point? in a million years. Absolutely not. I thought it was a great point in my career, and. It was done and time to put it away and put it to bed and here we are again and Dolly and I look at each other and we were younger and you know and now we're back and we're doing it in a whole other way and it's really really been a great ride. Nine to five. Exciting. It's very exciting. Great. Yes, the reincarnation. Of that. We're, we're very excited. Was it hard to, to take the, what you had already written and then try to, because I know, I'm sure you've had to reinvent some things for the stage and rework them. Was this difficult to, you know, it's kind of like your baby that was already right. done. You know, it was actually a fantastic opportunity because generally as a movie or a television writer, you write and then it's done. And you look at it later and you think, oh, I could have done that better. Or, oh, there's a better line here and you're stuck. So here I got a chance to revisit something that I did that long ago bring hopefully my life experience and all those years writing and take another crack at it. I love the movie. Yeah, I did. I love it. It's about, you don't get too many movies about women and working women. I mean, you get a lot of shoot 'em up and special effects and car chases and all that, but not about women and their lives and their humor and their travails and all that, so I'm very excited. You have done theater before, you had your play, yes. but now, is, there, is this maybe going to open up a whole new theatrical career for you? I absolutely hope so, because it has been, I think, the most fun I've ever had professionally. The theater is great. I recommend it to every writer. It's, it's just wonderful and collaborative, and you're there, and you're included, and it, it couldn't have been better. Nine to five, excited about the show tonight? Oh my God, I'm bouncing off the walls. I was a huge fan of this as a, as a kid. And um, I remember seeing it in the theater and just, you know, so thrilled. So yes, I'm bouncing off the walls. That, what a big fan I am of yours. Sorry, I'm a great admirer of your work. Because I know that scares people when you call someone, when you say you're a fan. No, not writers, we don't care. You know, we're so shocked anyone even knows who we are. And I was also a, a small part in Straight Talk way back when, when I was younger. Like the stalker who's in the background of every scene. Oh so. my gosh. Straight up, straight up, and we're gonna be alright. Straight up, straight up. You're someone who knows the Broadway stage. I've seen you on Broadway stage in musicals. So excited about a new musical comedy? Very much so. I, I've heard the music's great. I've heard the whole thing is great. So I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. I love Dolly Parton. I grew up in Mississippi, so uh, we listened to country music, and Dolly was definitely um, a part of our lives. <laughs> so uh, you know, and she's just had such an amazing career. You know, it's just through the decades, it's been amazing. Nine to Five was such an amazing movie, and Dolly Parton is such an amazing actress, triple threat, really, basically. She can do it all, and so I am very excited to see what she's done with it.
Yeah. Did anybody ever sing nine to five except Dolly and get away with it? No, I, I don't, don't think, think so. so. No. I don't think. Isn't that funny? That's it's a great song. It is a great song. Okay, well, it's and we're we, we don't know. We're kind of in, we're just stunned by their continuing popularity. so perfect. <laughs> The songs are great, and um, it was great to see Dolly on stage at the end. And when the, when the sets broke down, a little impromptu concert. Impromptu, the sets broke down. Dolly like had a little concert. It was really cool. thought to seeing you by somebody I think else. It's going to be a huge hit. Uh, everybody on the stage had fun, and which means everybody usually means everybody in, in the audience that has fun. And this was that case, I think. Unbelievable. Great music. Dolly's a brilliant, you know, what can I say? Yeah. And, uh, and the cast, it's so much fun to see them come so close in characters, you know. I mean, that's going to be a little added given for this, this, uh, this show, I think. I don't think it's going to have a long, long run. At any rate, it's just so much fun. It's a great show. Was it weird for you to watch someone else playing a part? Strange as hell. Yeah. But good strange. Good yeah. weird. Yeah. yeah. Believe me, they got it down pat. Watch your back. It's always the mystery. Oh, it's a mystery. Oh, it's a mystery. They'll steal our souls if they can. They'll steal your soul. You don't think you'd get up there and sing? No, no, I let him do that. And he, he did a great job. Mark De Kudish did a great job of that. The whole cast was incredible. So he got to wear the contraption this time. Yeah, right, 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 right. We sing it loud.
absolutely incredible. I knew Dolly wouldn't agree to write the songs if she knew it wasn't going to be an incredible show. And I knew if she wrote them, the songs would be amazing. And they were. I think the one about gossiping was my absolute favorite. And I thought they all did a really good job, especially the Dora Lee character. I mean, you know she watched that movie like a thousand times. She absolutely nailed it. And the whole thing was just high energy and it was just fantastic. And the set changes were really elaborate. Did you get a little, uh, you know, happy when uh, the set did kind of break down? Because I secretly did because then Dolly got to perform. That was pretty cool. And in fact, right then I was like, why don't I have a camera in my hands? Because those are the moments that, you know, you just you don't know you're gonna get, you can't plan for it. And I, I think that is one of those moments that really shows how talented Dolly Parton is. She can take something that is a little mini tragedy, you know, and just make it so entertaining and, and just have the guts to get up there and go, okay, I don't know what I'm gonna say, but I'm gonna fill 10 minutes. You know that filling 10 minutes when you don't know what the heck's going on is a long time. So yeah, she's just, she blows me away. So yeah, it was no, no problem for us. People are secretly hoping the set's going to break every night and she's going to be there. But. Absolutely. Did you have a fun time? Oh my God, of course. Yeah. Went crazy. It's one of my favorite movies. And I yeah, love the Dolly. Were great. The three girls were great. Mark Kudish was great. Andy Carl. It was a great cast. They did. It was, um, I'm really thankful that I'm seeing like New York theater in LA. Five. Now you did a, a reading of this very early on, didn't you? Yeah, I did. So it's lovely to see it, you know, staged and everything. I just did a sort of sing through of it. It was great fun because Bob Greenblatt, who is producing it is my boss at Showtime and so yeah. Your series which I love. Oh yeah which I'm about to do more of so yeah. Now you saw the show tonight yeah. correct? I loved it I mean I love it's just people love Dolly it's a great story I mean watching the film again to do the rehearsals of that show it's just it's it really stands up you know Mark, Mark Kudish was unbelievable I mean a man that's aloft strapped oh, yes. around the crotch for so many Numbers, I've never known anyone sing like that, strapped around the crotch perpetually. I mean, you've got to admire him. I think it helps the diaphragm. He's already got children, so, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's like a, but I loved it, and I'm sure it'll go on to New York, and good, good luck with it. See, Eight shows a week, though, kids. Uh, does that help or hurt your diaphragm, the contraption you have to wear? No, you know, you'd be surprised. <laughs> it's actually more comfortable than you think. And I've used, I've, I've been in fly systems before, so I actually enjoy it. Cause, <laughs> no, dude, because you don't have to act. There's nowhere to go. There's not much you can do. So you're experiencing it live, you know? That's awesome. And it's fun. I mean, it is. It's just, it's surprising for an audience. And uh, hopefully it's just sort of a, a, a different way to communicate something. <laughs> I guess so. You know? From the gut, I guess. Oh yeah, baby. From the groin. The groin. From the bowels. So look at you playing yeah, it's Roz. Fun. It's so fun. It is so, so much fun. I love the, working with these people. Joe is fantastic. And Allison's fantastic. And I love Mark Hudish. And we have just been having the best time. The be it's the best story. It's the best story. And um, at most days of when I come out, I don't get recognized. <laughs> because of the wig situation. I, I, didn't see you, I didn't see you walk by. It's because I've got old age makeup on and that fantastic wig. Uh, I love it. Um, but uh, we're just having such a great time. Great, great fun. Great fun. How nice that you actually get to take the Roz character further than in the movie. I know, it's so fantastic. Isn't it great? I love her secret life. Yeah. Like Elizabeth Wilson was so wonderful in the film. But the, the, to be able to be into the bathroom and actually do it like her secret life is so fantastic. Because you think, what does this woman really do at home alone? It's a little spooky. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, what you can do with toilet paper in a bathroom. But uh, it's such a fun number, and I, I just love it so much. It's, I'm it's so happy fun. that you're doing this because you have done so many shows. We've seen you in everything, and now you get, you literally get a show-stopping number. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's so, so much fun. I love it. How about Dolly tonight? Ridiculous. Thanks again, and she's up there doing a concert. She has to be with us all the time. Now, let me ask you finally about you now for the folks out there who don't get, I think everybody gets CMT now. Oh, and look who's back. Get well, some of this. Okay. Oh, you oh, you yeah. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> and this way, please. Hello. 
Well, hi, ladies. How are you? Well, I, no, I met you. Well, thank you. I'm Ken, and this is Megan, and this is Stephanie, in case you didn't know them. And this is the light that just went out of my camera, so we're using that little baby light. Okay, baby light. But you, your stars are illuminating the whole area. It does not matter. So, okay, nine to five, how amazing. We ju I just saw these two in New York recently, and they're giving me the scoop where you all paid off. It, 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 it delivered. It was amazing. And you all get showstoppers. When does that happen? When does that happen? You all get showstoppers. We did us right, all of us. We got our numbers. Now, you, no, people are not used to you singing and dancing on stage. Went crazy. Was it, I mean, this isn't the first time you sang, though, right? Um, I, I sang at a benefit for breast cancer a couple years ago, and that was the first time that I sang in front of people, other than, you know, those that joined me in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> I think the first time I heard you sing was The Jackal on the West that's Wing. That's right, oh, but that's I lip synced. Right. That was a lip sync. Oh, that was really? I didn't sing. Really? That was lip -syncing. But the music was in you. Yeah, the yeah. music was yeah. in me. The yeah. music yeah. is in me, uh -huh. but I've never let it out. Okay. <laughs> Until tonight. Until tonight. And of course, there was a little glitch again. We've heard in the press about the glitches, but we got a little impromptu Dolly concert. Absolutely. Yeah. And you both were telling me how incredibly giving and warm and, and she is, but she also gets in the heads of all the characters incredibly well. Right. Yeah. So. I think that this piece is so endearing to her, and she's been connected to it almost 30 years, which still blows our minds yeah. that it's so beloved by the yeah. audiences. The characters are still so beloved. But she's really, you know, she's invested in this show, and she yeah. knows these characters. So, as you said, we all luck out and we all, she speaks through our voices and her voice and then we each have our wonderful moment with these show-stopping numbers that she's written for each character. Now, it might be silly of me to ask because, well, well, I'm not going to say because, do you all have a favorite, like do you have like that absolute favorite moment when you're getting ready to do the show, you're like, oh, I can't wait because I'm going to get to do <laughs> this. Do you all have that moment? I can't wait to tell off Mr. Hart. I can't oh, wait to oh. have that moment where I push him on the couch and... Is that cathartic in some way? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Marijuana scene. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I'm changing mine to the marijuana scene. <laughs> I love just the journey of falling, the girls all falling in love with each other and, and, and becoming a, just, uh, there's a real bond that forms during the show, and I love watching that grow during the show, and I love being on stage with them, and we just, we are connected, and, and I think uh, that's what's great about the movie, is there's a big heart in it, and it's Dolly, and, and I think that the three of us together your joy. We got hard. Yeah. Lots, of, lots, of, lots of heart. I'm going to follow the journey to New York because I'm out of New York. Yeah. So we'll look for That's Entertainment at the New York opening because I'll be there. Thank and I'm so excited. You Thank there. you so much. <laughs> Y'all you know, are terrific. Thank you. Thanks. Look, I'm taking away your light. You can't you take away are, your light. Get out of my light. I'm the one that Patricia grabbed and said, he was in straight talk. Yeah, you and were I too. Was. Well, <laughs> anyway, I waited six years to talk to you, so here we are. I don't want to blow it are. all here, but here we are, nine to five. I, I'm from That's Ken Entertainment. I'm the Ken and the Ken Entertainment in Manhattan. I also do serious radio. And <laughs> for serious. Uh, not too serious. <laughs> Believe me, not with me. That's Ken Entertainment. That's what I thought. Okay, nine to five. You're right for Broadway. I know. I'm so excited. It seems so strange to say that I'm right for Broadway, you know, maybe lower broad on in Nashville, <laughs> but uh, it's a very exciting. They they did a wonderful job on my songs, and uh, I'm just happy that it all turned out. Yeah, well, yeah. I have been following your career forever because okay. I'm, I'm after you walk away, I'm gonna collapse. You don't even know. Oh, you're not but, gonna well, I'm gonna hold together though. <laughs> you don't know. You're but, an entertainer. That's right. Entertainer. But thank you for the for the compliment. Well, of course, and. Now that you're writing this, I mean, I always knew you could write all different styles, but people are like, did you hear that intermission? They're going, did you hear how she's writing for these characters? These are character-driven pieces. You are bringing melody back to Broadway. There's been a lot of shows without a lot of melodies. These are all the showstoppers. Like, they're almost all showstoppers. How did that happen? Well, I don't know. I just, the ignorance is bliss, I guess. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just hoping I would, you know, capture it. But since I do love stories and I do love, you know, good singable melodies, it was just a natural thing. And I just tried to take each character and think what I thought they would say or want to say. So anyhow, it turned out. I hope the people it love sure it. Well, you heard yeah. the crowd tonight. Yeah, they were excited. And another little glitch, huh? Little. Yeah, but that was all right. I mean, it's like that's a high-tech stage, and they're still working out the little bugs. But it gave me a chance to get up and say hello to the audience and at least kind of entertain them for a minute. Everybody's hoping there's going to be a glitch every night, and you're going to be in the audience. <laughs> well, I may just have to travel with this show. So now next is Broadway. Yes, correct? that's going to. Going to be there for that. They're still doing. Oh, stuff absolutely. And... I'm going to be there for the big opening there, and hopefully all of the old gang like Lily Jane and Dabney and all of us will be together again to be there to support.
support everybody. So it's going to be great. Uh, Tolly, I you hope. don't know how happy you're making me right now. Thank you. And well, look, thanks for Tolly for president. Oh, Just got ready? back from Dollywood. <laughs> you are a fan. I am. I adore you. Thank you. Insider. It airs every weekend, Saturday afternoons and Sunday mornings. And I'm out there getting the country music scoop. I'm on the red carpets, uh, talking to people when their albums come out, their videos. I'm, I'm all over it, darlings. All right. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. you. It's you're great to meet you. You're such a positive light. You know, so, many, so are you. Well, so many people, you know, and they're kind of like, ah, I'm doing my job. You look like you really enjoy it. Oh, my gosh. I love my <laughs> job. Are you kidding? I'm, every week when the paycheck actually shows up, I'm just like, I'm getting paid. <laughs> to talk to people like Dolly Parton and you. It's a beautiful job. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck with everything. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>